Usually I don't bother giving oxygen to our detractors because it's often better just to let them suffocate themselves in their jealousy. But today I'm making an exception because I think everyone should see how our tax dollars are being spent. And to be honest, it's actually quite funny. So watch, laugh, then share what Australia's state media doesn't want you to see. Last week, our reporting from the front line of lockdown protests here in Melbourne shocked the world. The footage captured made it as far as Joe Rogan and Tucker Carlson. But closer to home, this is how Australia's state-funded news network reacted to our journalism. Far-right influencers will put themselves like in the thick of it and then use that footage or use those pictures on their website right next to some merchandise. (laughs) Wow. There's so much stupidity to unpack in that 15 seconds of dribble. Let's start from the beginning. Far-right influencers. Far-right influencer, okay. I had no idea who she was. I didn't know where that was coming from. But after I found her, it became clear. Her name is Jan Fran, and she starts a description of herself on her website as an award-winning journalist. Interesting. So I thought I'd better investigate how this legendary journalist got it so wrong. Twitter is often the best place to research these types. But what do you know? She had me blocked. I don't even know who she is and I'm blocked. Remember, Jan Fran, the award-winning journalist, is willing to go on national TV to mock my work on the taxpayer's dime, your tax dollars, but blocks me on Twitter to what? To silence me? Good luck with that one, Jan. Once we, once we actually got past that minor hurdle, it all became clear. Jan is one of those award-winning journalists obsessed with skin colour. Apparently, she's Middle Eastern in appearance. I guess we have something in common. Although, until she mentioned it, I really didn't see it. But good on her. She's a real advocate for diversity in media. Unless, of course, it's media she doesn't like. Then the actual Middle Eastern looking guy is just a far right influencer. Good one, Jan. We'll start taking you seriously when you practice what you preach. Maybe start by celebrating the diversity at Rebel News because our team is undoubtedly a lot more diverse than ABC. And that's not because we have quotas to fill, no. We pick the best man or woman for the job. Imagine that. My job, my boss doesn't care about their appearance. It doesn't come into the equation. Or put themselves like in the thick of it. This is possibly the funniest part of Jan's ridiculous rant. A so-called award-winning journalist mocking a reporter for putting themselves in the thick of it as if that's a bad thing. Um... Journalists around the world are celebrated for that exact fact, putting themselves in harm's way to tell the story. In fact, this was just last night on a show that Jan herself presents for. Well, Andrew, you are without doubt one of Australia's finest photojournalists. You have a history of putting yourself in difficult situations in order to make sure that important stories are told. So thank you so much for joining us and please stay safe. Thanks, Lisa. That's exactly what she's mocking me for. He's refusing to leave Afghanistan even after official warnings to do so, you know, putting himself in the thick of it. Unlike Jan, though, I may not agree with his politics. I don't really know him. I don't know who he is. But I commend him for his bravery and his commitment to do his important job. The world needs to see what's happening on the ground in Afghanistan, just as the world needs to see what's happening on the ground in Melbourne, Australia. And the fact is that I was the only journalist who captured Victoria Police firing tear gas on unarmed civilians. That should be celebrated by anyone who respects importance of free press, willing to put themselves in harm's way to bring that to the public's attention. If I didn't capture that moment, it would have never been reported anywhere that Victoria Police, for the first time, deployed tear gas against unarmed lockdown protesters last week. But mock away, Jan Fran. You must hate that I do the job that you received an award for better than you. Yeah, 
are on their website right next to some merchandise. Oh, you triggered that we have a store. A great store, by the way. You should definitely check it out at rebelstore.com.au because guess what? We at Rebel News, we don't get a billion dollars a year in taxpayer money to fund our journalism. We don't get wardrobes provided to us to present on camera. That's why I'm stuck wearing our, well, awesome merch. And I encourage all our viewers to purchase at rebelstore.com.au because unlike the ABC, which forcibly takes money from every taxpayer, we're funded by you guys who appreciate us putting ourselves in the thick of it to tell you the other side of the story. And just before I forget, shame on ABC for having an online store and a physical store. I guess a billion dollars a year just ain't enough to produce all that propaganda. Before I go, I just want to say thank you to ABC and its award-winning journalists for giving me this incredible opportunity to promote our online store at rebelstore.com.au because after you share this video, I'm sure the online sales will spike like crazy, allowing us to put ourselves in the thick of it for another day. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, Jan Fran.